So today is the day where we make everything clear. We tell you all the secrets. Anyway, the other day I was about to take a photo for a thumbnail for that video. If you remember the video where I was talking about being a doctor and a YouTuber, how I hack it. The link as always is somewhere up here. When I was taking that photo, the good wife came and told me you should uh, put on the stethoscope so that you know you look like a doctor. Which got me thinking, you know, I don't usually carry my stethoscope. Some of us are doctors who don't carry stethoscopes. So today I'm going to tell you what exactly I carry every day. You will get surprised, there's nothing fancy. First thing, my wallet. I like a minimalist wallet. Definitely it's beat down. I've used this thing for about what, three years, four years, five years now. But the good thing is it was pure leather, so it has stood the test of time. I don't like a big foldable wallet. You know, there are those massive wallets which people carry that they fold and fold and fold over and over again. I just like my wallet to be a card holder, really. We don't carry a lot of money. The world has become digital cards everywhere. When I go for shopping, I use my cards, bank cards. Okay, for some reason, I have two accounts in the same bank. This bank needs to pay for this video. Supermarket cards are a nuisance, but for some reason, I still carry these two. Next, my ID card. You know, you need to be able to prove that you are Kenyan when you meet the boys. Next, my student ID, because, you know, I'm a student of my university, somehow. What is this here? Very important. This, I like this. It's the parking card. You know, these guys manage nearly all parkings in Kenya. You just tap this card on their machines and yeah, you can park. I think it's much more convenient than if you had to use cash. And finally, a terrible card here that belongs to the hospital that I work in. I hope you can see that. <laughs> <laughs> I really carry cash. The economy is becoming cashless day by day. Yeah, this is like, what is this? Three dollars over here. Next, my phones. I carry my tablet every day for the sake of reference, not taking. I even use it as a phone sometimes. And my feature phone, the very nice, very great STG S66. You guys know it from that video. Yeah, link somewhere up here. So that is it for communication. Next is my keys. Over here we have the car key. Then the house key. So fun fact, my house key has a letter D. So this is the correct way around. Do you see what I see? The good wife got it for me. Her key has letter B. Mine has letter D because my name is Dickens, her name is B. And uh, you always do carry a flash disk every day because information is power, you know. So I basically just have one key, the letter D, a flash disk, and a SIM ejector tool. This is where the world has brought us. A pen. You always need a pen as a doctor because in medicine we say that if you didn't write it, you didn't do it. And before I forget, there's this one and a half liters of goodness that goes with me to the hospital every day. This water bottle should be counted among the number. So, what about the stethoscope? The reason I don't carry a stethoscope is basically because what I do, orthopedic surgery, never really requires a stethoscope. Most times you deal with patients who have broken limbs, broken bones, and most times they don't really even need their chest to be auscultated. So I have this for basically academic purposes. What we actually use are these strange things. This is called a patella hammer. I sometimes carry it because it helps us to examine the patient's neurological status. Uh, by eliciting reflexes. This is used to elicit reflexes. Sometimes a doctor may use such a thing and tap you basically below the knee to find out how your reflexes are. That tells us about your brain, you know, your nervous system and so on. There's this. This is a much better one. Uh, it's also 
for the same function. And for testing whether or not your sensation is intact, such a thing might come in handy. It's not very pleasant, it's actually sharp, that tells us whether you can feel pain. There's some other stuff that I carry but they remain in the bag or in the car. For example a lab coat, in my hospital I need to go with a lab coat every day, it's a big public hospital. So I carry my lab coat when I'm going to the wards, but on theater days I carry my scrubs. Sometimes I might have both. Something else that remains in the hospital, in my locker in the hospital, is my gum boots. Those of us who go to theater put on theater boots, but in our case, they're literally just gum boots. Like farmer's gum boots, white gum boots. So yeah, that's my everyday carry. That's it for today. It was just a short chit chat not my usual longer productivity and digital life videos but if you like this kind of stuff consider subscribing and uh, hit the notification bell welcome to the family thank you see you in the next one and as always no pressure